Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornments Decor. I'm back again. I just did a Facebook Live interviewing Mindy and Trisha, and so um, I'm hopping on here now to paint a mason jar with you guys. So I hope you guys are going to join me again for a few minutes. This is going to be a wedding gift for somebody, so I'm excited. I haven't painted a gift for anybody in quite a while. So you guys say hi as you come in. Um, if you had any questions from the previous Facebook Live, feel free to start asking them, and I'll just answer questions while I paint, if that's okay with you guys. Uh, all right, so we're painting a mason jar door hanger. You can get these blanks in my shop. Um, I, I don't have a link for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hook that up. So if you want it, just send me a message, and I'll hook you up. Um, this is granite gray. It's an apple barrel color. It's like my go-to light gray. And I'm just gonna paint the lid that color. And I don't really know what I'm doing yet as far as like a design. I know I'm gonna put a monogram on there. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a few minutes. Just using a monogram that I printed off from my computer. But as far as colors, I wanna go with like teal and coral. But as far as like the overall design, I don't know yet what I'm doing. I haven't really planned it out. Just winging it as usual. I see Kelly's watching. I got my cup, Kelly. Kelly made me this cup. All right, and then I'm using my go-to favorite, Key West by Apple Barrel. It's my favorite mason jar color. I know I haven't gotten on here and painted in a while, so I thought it was time. I need to move some stuff out of the way. My craft room is such a mess. So if you guys want to hit that little button at the bottom that says S-H-A-R-E, I have a hair in my paint. Hold up. I don't think that's one of my hairs. That's a dog hair. And I don't even have indoor dogs. Who knows? Do you guys know what? I had something amazing happen uh, yesterday. Was yesterday Friday? Um, you guys know that little video that I did where I had painted one of the flower mason jar door hangers and I was showing you how to make a bow to attach to it? That video just hit 107,000 views. I've never had a video have so many views ever before. So I'm just gonna consider that viral because in my world, that's viral, that's awesome. I know some people don't consider viral, something viral until it hits like a million views, but 100,000, that's pretty much viral for me. So I got so excited when I saw that. Um, and the funny thing is, is I posted that over on Instagram and I accidentally shared it to Facebook by accident. And now it has 107,000 views and growing, it's amazing. So when it hits a million, we'll have a party. <laughs> so if you guys haven't seen that video yet, I may have, I may have to have Gretchen, um, my, one of my assistants, post it to my page again so you guys can see it. Because I think I posted it like April 30th or something. And yeah, it's craziness. Okay, I got another hair in the paint. What's going on? Where's these hairs coming from? They look black, like little black dog hairs or something. Maybe it's off of this brush. I don't know. Um, if your paint is not going on smooth, just dip your brush in a little bit of water. Sometimes that helps, that's what I'm doing. Cause my brush is kind of dragging. So I'm thinking maybe it's pulling out some bristles or something. I don't know. <laughs> I am shedding Renee, it's ridiculous. Myra says, I have new Canadian chalk couture Oh, you are a new Chalk Couture consultant. Cool. Chalk Couture is pretty awesome. I tried it out for a little while there, and I enjoyed playing with it, but I just didn't have time to play with it as much as I would have liked, so I ended up, I didn't really keep doing it, but it was fun. I still have some things around the house that I did Chalk Couture on that I really like. Okay, we've got it painted all teal, and I think I'm going to dry it. Maybe do some polka dots and distress it. What do y'all think? Can y'all hold on just a second while I dry it? Do 
you talking about the mason jar that was full of baseballs, Don? I did that one a long time ago. Yeah, that was like three years ago. Trisha says, I need ideas for my nail polish, my nail polish bottle door hanger. Okay, guys, comment below what kind of wording could Trisha put on a nail polish door hanger? Let's put our heads together. Where can I get this board? If you want a mason jar cut out, you can get it on my website. Um, shoot, I don't have the link. Hang on. Maybe if I can pull it up on my iPad real quick, I can drop the link for you in the comments. Thank you, Mark Stewart. I'm gonna have to dump everything out of that. So this one makes a polka dot that's like an inch and a half wide. I'm gonna put my paint in this little bucket because I need something big to put it in so that my polka dotter can fit in it because it can't fit in my little egg carton. Uh, okay, this is called light buttermilk and we're just gonna do giant polka dots on here and then we might do a little bit of distressing And when you do polka dots, I like to like make triangles out of my polka dots. So see, I did one there, there, and there. So now I'm gonna take these two, which that one didn't stamp all the way. I'm gonna take these two and do another one over here. And I'm just creating triangles out of the three dots. That kind of helps get them spaced nice and evenly so that they look, you don't have an odd spot with like one dot. Do any of you guys have questions about the Paint Party Boot Camp course? Because sign up ends tomorrow night, y'all. You've only got one more day to sign up and then it's not gonna open again until 2020. Uh, thank you, Kendra. My shirt says she was born to paint, make pretty things and inspire others to create. And I already got paint on it. Urgh. Hold on, we're gonna scrub it out while it's still wet. Okay, it's all good. Which, I mean, if you can't get paint on this shirt, what paint, what shirt can you get it on? All right, let me show you my, this is what it looks like with the polka dots so far. And then we're gonna add some distressing to it in just a second, so I gotta dry it again. Dawn says, I'm gonna use a Dremel to etch my design on the door hangers, I hope it works. Report back, Dawn, because that sounds hard to do. I wanna know how that turns out, let me know. I thought we might do some flowers on here and then we're also going to do a monogram everything's trying to blow away Tara says I was wondering how long that was going to take how long what was going to take did I forget what we were talking about already? <laughs> you need ideas to paint a mason jar. Well, Shirley, Sh Shirley, am I saying your name right? You just search mason jar door hanger on Pinterest and you will have more ideas than you know what to do with. All right, I've got to let this dry for just a hot second more. And so I also need to cut this out. So let me grab some scissors because apparently I don't have those over here on my craft desk. I've got them over here on my shipping station. Thank you guys for sharing the video. I appreciate it. As I was telling you guys earlier, if you want to hit that button below and show me some love, I will pick somebody at the end of the video to send some happy mail to. Oh good, I did pronounce it right. Hello Pam from Alabama. Where do you purchase the polka dot sponge? Uh, you can go to Amazon and search Martha Stewart sponge pouncers. Um, if you go, can somebody type this in for me? Amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Southern Adornments Decor. That's a lot to type in. Amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Southern Adornments Decor. That is like my little Amazon like shop where I have all of my affiliate links, things linked, things linked. And uh, I have like, all of my favorite paint supplies linked there. I have things that I use in my paint parties linked there. Um, I have 
things that I use when I ship door hangers linked over there. So it's that's something you may want to bookmark on your phone. Correction, not Walmart, Michaels. Oh, I must have missed the previous comment. Thank you, whoever, sh oh, Misty from Tennessee. And Eva, thank you so much. And Lauren, you guys are so sweet. Thank you for sharing. Uh, so it's amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Southern Adornments Decor. Thank you, Ashley Knight. You're the bomb. I love you. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Okay, I'm cutting this out. All I did was print this out on my computer. I just like designed it in a paint program. It's actually the template for my square um, square door hanger template that I kind of stretched into a rectangular shape. And then I just added a monogram to the middle of it. Um, this is gonna be a wedding gift door hanger. So I thought it would be fun to do like their name and his and her name on each side, like their monograms. And so I'm gonna show you guys how to put this on here in just a second, but it's still a little too wet. So while I'm waiting, are there any questions I can answer for you guys about the Paint Party Boot Camp course? We already have 14 people signed up for it and the doors close tomorrow night at, at midnight central standard time and it won't open again until 2020. So if you've been thinking about starting a paint party business and you need help kind of getting it off the ground, I can help you show you exactly what to do from picking a business name, setting up a Facebook page, to booking a bunch of parties, to contacting your hostess and what to say to her, to getting people to actually come to the party, taking payments, getting people to register online, what supplies to bring, how to pack up the supplies, what to do at the party, how to teach that many people at one time, um, how to get people to come to the next party. All of those things are things that we teach in the Paint Party Boot Camp course. Okay, I saw a question that I missed. Let's see, Kelly said, where do you get the monogram SVG? I have a font that does monograms and so I just like put in the font. Donna says, my dots always have bubbles. Well, let me show you my dots, Donna. Because after they dry, my little bubbles kind of go away. But you can still see a little bit of a bubbly texture. So they're not perfect. See? But like I told you, we're going to distress this in just a second. So that's a good point, Tara. I, I forgot about that. I do blow on the polka dots if, if they have really bad bubbles. The thicker the paint, though, the less bubbly it's going to be. Linda Wilkerson, the paint, Painter's Clubhouse will open again in September to the public, but if you're on the wait list, um, and for those of you interested, you can get on that at paintersclubhouse.com. We're going to send out an email the last week of May, and we're going to have like a 48-hour window where people can sign up. So keep an eye on your email if you're on the wait list. It's coming soon. Stacy says, how many do you teach into one class? The most I've ever taught was 50, and that's tough. Usually I have to have help if I'm teaching 50. Hi, Miss Joni. Defont.com. I use that a lot too. All right, let's distress this real quick. Um, and I think I'm just going to distress it in the same buttermilk color really lightly. So this is an ancient Dollar Tree paintbrush that has seen better days. Look how nasty it is. And that's like dried paint. So the bristles bris still bend real nicely, but they're really scruffy, and that makes for an excellent distressing brush. What brand of paint do I use? I use a combination of Deco Art Americana and Apple Barrel. Apple Barrel is from Walmart. Hold on. <laughs> we just nearly had a disaster. I dropped a, a bottle of black paint and it bounced across the carpet. And I was like, please don't get black paint on the carpet. Okay, so I love the Deco Art Americana better because it's a little thicker, it's a higher quality paint, but it does cost more. And it's less accessible for me because I go to Walmart all the time, but we don't have a Hobby Lobby that close, so. My shirt was on the board again. It was probably my boobs or my belly, who knows? I've got both. All right, I don't see any paint, so I think we're good. I think the paint was dry. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. I'm just keeping it real. Okay, I've still got some buttermilk paint down in here, so I'm just gonna get a little bit on the end of my brush, like so. And I think I went a little heavy in one spot, so we're just gonna dab some of that off, not all of it. And then we're gonna go, let's just go left to right. So I'm just gonna kinda scrape it off the edge of the door hanger going back and forth. I'll show you guys up close what this looks like in just a second. So this is the same exact color that I used on the polka dots. 
Ooh, I really like this. It's like shabby chic. So now that I've gone left and right, let's go up and down too. And I only did one coat on the, on the uh, background, the Key West color. Let's do it on the lid too. Because I knew I was gonna do all this distressing and add some other stuff, so I really wasn't that concerned with making sure I got a really good background color, background coat. So. In some places it's gonna be heavier than others and that'll be okay, we'll live. Okay, look here. See, it's really heavy up in this corner, but I kinda like it. What do you guys think? Can you see it? Can you see all the distressing? So pretty. Monogram KK works good too. Um, Hi Pam, it's good to see me painting. I do enjoy painting. I don't get to do it nearly as often. You would think it would be something I do every single day, but I spend more time answering emails and private messages and creating templates than almost anything else. Thank you, Michelle and Sandra. If you guys are enjoying this, please hit that little button down at the bottom so other people will enjoy it too. <laughs> and I will be sending out some happy mail to somebody who does that. As soon as the video is over, I'll let the person who um, I choose win or win, no, no, be notified. Oh my word. I'm, I've been talking too much today. Joni says, very nice. I would have already had more on me than the board. <laughs> okay. So I think this is dry enough now that we can put this on there. So if you're just now joining, I printed this on my computer. I added the little monogram and this is called, what is this called? Transfer paper, graphite paper. Trista, the, you'll have to click on the enroll button after you click on the link for boot camp, and it will, um, let's put it right in the middle, I think, yeah. Um, it will tell you the different payment options, because there's two different payment options. All right, let me see. I think I want to do it kind of almost right dead center, so that looks pretty good. So I've got my transfer paper underneath, shiny side down. Oh, Brittany, you don't have to get up the courage to paint. Just do it, girl. It's just paint. You can always uh, paint over it if it didn't turn out right. You like the color choices? Thank you, Talisa. Talisa, I sent you a message right before we went live um, earlier, and now I'm just tracing this with a ballpoint pen. Um, I was asking if you were able to get signed up for boot camp because I know, I think it was you that was having a little bit of technical difficulties with the website. So feel free to message me back if you still need help with that. The only thing you gotta be sure of is when you're doing this is not to move your paper. Like don't bump it or lift it up or move it, just trace it. And this is transferring, let me see if you guys can see a little sneaky peek. See the line, it's transferring the line to the door hanger underneath and it actually looks like it was drawn on with like a pen or something. Where do you get the transfer paper? Uh, Hobby Lobby, I think. Just search for transfer paper at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. It'll probably be in like where the drawing supplies and things are. So check there. All right. So next, hold up. No, we're not going to do that next part. Not yet. We're going to go ahead and take this off. And I want to paint the inside shape a different color. And then we're going to lay that back down on there to do the monogram. So the inside color, let me think. I think I want it to just be this cream color and because I don't want to go like too crazy with colors. And then we'll do flowers and stuff around it. The transfer paper is awesome, Brittany. That is something you can use at paint parties if you, you know, want your people at your parties to be able to do lettering on their door hangers. You could just bring printed words that will fit on the door hanger and let them choose the word they want and use transfer paper to transfer it to the door hanger. Simple, simple way. I've always painted the lettering on there for them, but <laughs> I probably should have done that. It would have been way easier. You brought transfer paper at Michael's? Oh, okay, awesome. Does anybody have any questions about the paint party boot camp? or anything else for that matter. Um, 
one of the reasons why, if you missed my Facebook Live that I did a few minutes ago before I went live, this is my second live in a row. I had to end that live to do this live. Um, I interviewed two girls who are do it, taking the boot camp, and they have already hosted their first party. And so the money that they made at those first parties, they were able to take it and invest it right into the Paint Party Boot Camp course. So that's the awesome thing about this is like, as soon as you take it, or as soon as you start it, you could go ahead and have your first party. It could be really low key and relaxed and easy, and you could go ahead and make the money back for the course, and then everything you make thereafter is pure profit. So it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be fancy. It can be as easy and relaxed as you will let it be. Like, don't overcomplicate things by overthinking it and trying to make it too fancy. <clears throat> Amazon's great for everything. Absolutely. Kelly said, I have the same piece of transfer for 20 years and I'm still using it. I'm still, I still have the same piece of transfer paper that I've used on like four different projects so far. So it's good to know that you can use it for like 20 years. I didn't know how long it would last, but I know I've been using it for a while now. And it's working just fine. All right, I'm gonna have to put two coats on this, so we're gonna just go for it and go ahead and do it. How long is the boot camp and what is included? Okay, the boot camp is five weeks long, it has five units. Um, every Monday, a new unit will be released. And then on the following Friday, we will have a live Q&A session inside of a private Facebook group where you can ask questions and get support and things like that. Um, but the course is only five weeks long and um, it's, it just goes in depth into everything you need to know to get your paint party business started. So we start with choosing a business name and getting a Facebook page set up. And then from there, we talk about um, supplies because you need to get your supplies together before you you know, have your party. So we talk about what kind of supplies to get, where to get your brushes, your paint, um, what kind of ribbon I recommend, uh, what else? Just everything you need to know supply-wise. And I even show you like how my supplies are organized and how I carry them with me to every party because part of being organized is being prepared and making things less stressful for you. Then after that, we move on to talking about booking the party how to get parties booked, how to communicate um, with your hostess after she's booked the party. Um, I share with you the exact wording that I use on my Facebook event descriptions, on the exact wording that I use that I send to my hostess and stuff like that so that you can share that, like copy and paste that and use it. Jean, the course is $497. And if you have just one paint party after you start that course with 15 people and you charge $35 a person, You've made $500 back and your course is paid for. Easy peasy. Tara says, I've been cutting stencils on my cut, scan and cut, and I forgot about doing the trace pa tracing paper. Um, so yeah, we, st we book parties and then what's after that? I've got my little notes here. Let me look while this is drying. Um, after, after we learn how to book the party, then we talk about... Um, how to set up the Facebook event and how to connect that to a page where people can click and buy like uh, Register or pay for their part like to pre-register prepay um, Then we talk about what to do like the last day right before your party starts that way you're prepared before you head out to your party Unit four we talk about what to do at the party how to teach a large group um, tips for making things go smoothly. Then we talk about what to do right after the party. And we talk about troubleshooting paint party problems. So there's always going to be things that pop up that you want to improve upon or do better next time. We talk about that next. Then in unit five, the final week, it's called Not Your Average Paint Party. So in that unit, we talk about fundraisers, specialty parties, virtual paint parties, and then we have a whole lesson devoted on to making your parties fun and unforgettable. Because if you make your parties fun and unforgettable, people will come back to party after party and you will have people attending your parties again and again. So that is the course in a nutshell. <laughs> All right, I'm getting some coral paint because I'm gonna paint some flowers. Let's see, I want a light pink too, but I may have to just get some white because I don't like, or some more buttercream maybe and then a little bit of red. 
And the reason I'm using red is because I can darken the coral with the red. Um, she said, so you can do parties before you join, then earn to join. Um, well, if you had taken the paint party challenge, you would have time to do a party before you take the course. But, and that's, so that's what Trisha and Mindy did. But the challenge is over now and the course is starting. So you don't really have time to do a party before taking the course. But if you sign up for the course tomorrow, so let's say that you don't have the money and savings to take the course and you have to put it on a credit card. You have 30 days to pay off that credit card, right? So if you put it on the credit card and you give yourself 30 days to have that first party, you can have the first party and get the credit card paid off before it's even due, as long as you have your first party within those 30 days. I'm loving this color combination, you guys. Thank you, Tara, you too, huh? All of a sudden, we're just loving this. I love the coral and the teal and the buttercream. It feels kind of like rustic country, which is what I was going for because uh, the wedding shower that we are having tomorrow night after church uh, that's what all the decorations are going to be. They're going to be like teal and coral and like a cream and burlap. It's going to be so pretty. I'm helping plan it and decorate it. It's going to be so fun. So we're going to use this mason jar as decoration and then they'll be able to take it home with them after the shower's over. Flowers are not as hard as everybody thinks they are. I'm pretty much just making a messy circle and adding cream and red to it to make it look like a flower. So hard. <laughs> Don't overthink it. All right, let's just do, mm, let's do three little flowers right here. We'll do another one that's, what is going on out there? I live on a country road where like nobody ever comes down the road and it sounds like somebody's riding a four-wheeler down the road or something. It's distracting. This is gonna be so pretty. It's been a while since I was able to just paint something just for, you know, a gift and kind of be creative and free with it without having to follow, you know, a certain pattern or something like that. So I'm enjoying this. And I get to just chat with you guys. Okay, Becky says, I have had a sign painting party business for several years. I highly suggest the gal you gals shot to sign up for your Mm, it's cut off your course to eliminate lots of trial and error for sure I have had so much trial and error over the last four years figuring this out on my own and so I kind of feel like I need to pass the baton on and teach others how to do this because if there had been somebody teaching this back when I signed up you best believe I would have taken any shortcut that I could to make my business run smoother you know why not pay for somebody else's expertise to make your life easier? Those flowers, the messier the better. Absolutely, I just made them even messier and I like them even more now. Um, <laughs> I thought some a new comment popped up. All right, so I'm gonna do some here and let's do some uh, right up here in this corner. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I almost dripped paint all over the door hanger. It would have been fine, though. It's just paint. I have um, a Bob Ross, or a couple of Bob Ross magnets on my refrigerator. And there was a little girl here last night who's... She's in middle school, I think. And she was like, who's Bob Ross? <laughs> I was like, you don't know who Bob Ross is? I had to explain it. And even Charlie, my four-year-old, knows who Bob Ross is. So it was kind of funny. She's like, why is he painting happy trees? Because that's what the magnet says. It says happy trees. So, well, you kind of have to watch it to get it and understand. He's a legend in our house. <laughs> Trisha said, thanks ladies, I chose pretty and pink, mostly because the paint I chose is magenta. Oh, I love that, pretty and pink. Isn't there a movie called Pretty and Pink? Maybe. 
If you're just now joining us, feel free to hit the little S-H-A-R-E button down at the bottom because uh, I'm going to be choosing someone to win some happy mail after the video's over. Um, oh, you grew up watching him? You have a friend that's a certified... Oh, I didn't know there were certified Bob Ross instructors. That's just cool. All right, let's do some some different flowers kind of coming out of these flowers. But what color? What color? Maybe a, a like a like a a bluish teal. What do y'all think? Maybe. I don't know. We're just gonna wing it. Come up with something, something cute. I'm mixing two colors together here. Oops! I didn't shake that one. It came out all watery. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. We shall see in a minute. Yellow, yes, yellow. That's what I need to do. I do like this color that I just mixed together though. May have to add it somewhere. Yellow, thank you for the suggestion. Yellow's exactly. Yeah, I thought purple, but we don't have any purple in the wedding shower decorations tomorrow. And yellow would still go with the decorations that we're doing tomorrow, so I think it'll be fine. Um, so I'm just gonna do some like cute little, uh, I don't know. These may not even be a real life flower, but we're gonna go with it. I'm just kind of daubing my brush and making, uh, it's kind of like a hyacinth shape, I guess. I don't know, it's kind of triangular and it comes out to a little point. And then I'm daubing some white in there also for variation in the shape. And then we'll add some greenery also in a minute. I don't know what I'm doing. I kind of like it, I kind of don't. So we're just gonna have to make it real messy so I like it. Sometimes the messier the better because sometimes if I try to make something look just so-so, I usually don't like it. We're just going to add some messy ones coming off of here, like it's shedding or blowing off in the wind. Coneflower. Sounds legit. <laughs> uh, thank you for sharing, Carleen. I appreciate it. What time is it? 9.15. It feels like it's like 11 o'clock. It feels like the longest day ever. I think because I've done like two or three Facebook Lives today and I've been in here a lot today. So I'm feeling a little bit like I'm wearing out, running out of energy. I need a lighter green too. So we're going to do two different shades of green. I finally got, I have the, the medium Hauser green and the light Hauser green and the dark Hauser green. But I don't think I'm going to use the dark. It seems a little too dark for this. Hi, Christine. How are you? Let's try the Lighthouser Green. I'm just going to do some little sprigs of things coming out of here. And then we might do like a little curly cue here and there. A little leaf, maybe. I don't know. We're just making it up as we go. Oh, I like this color. It's so pretty. I like it much better with the greenery. That's helping a lot. Uh, I use Apple Barrel um, and Deco Art Americana. It is 10.15 in North Carolina. It, I am in Central Time, so it is 9.15 here. You love my southern accent. I'm in, where do I live? Murray, Kentucky. Can you guys tell I'm sleepy? <laughs> oh, 
Oh yes, I like that. That'll work. Very much so. Okay. I gotta stop while I'm ahead or I'm gonna do too much to this corner. So let me show you so far what we got going on. I will go ahead and some more accents in a minute, but I gotta quit while I'm ahead as far as adding too much green because I love green. Green's my favorite color. Thank you, Ashley. <clears throat> what is everybody doing this? What's today? Saturday? Saturday night? Y'all sitting on the couch, hanging out. My husband took the kids to, uh, well, not all of them, but my youngest and my middle child to old school wrestling. <laughs> it's kind of like amateur wrestling at the local community center, and they love it. So, that's where they have gone. And so it's nice and quiet in my house. <laughs> Watching a Hallmark movie. I only watch those at Christmas time. You almost missed another live. <laughs> Hello, Tarita. Katie says, couch and doing laundry. Supposed to be folding laundry. Well, you can watch me and fold laundry at the same time. What kind of reunion was it, Monica? Was it school? School reunion? I may have carried too many logs to the burn pile. I did, Susan. I did. For sure. That's probably the problem. Yep. Let's see. Alright, did I do as much down here as I did up there? It's probably close. I don't know. Alright, let's add a little bit of a darker green to it. So, we're just going to add an accent in that darker... Yeah, I'm going to wipe my brush off. It's got gunked up paint on it. I'm just going to kind of add like a little shadow to a lot of this. So here's what we got so far. Ta-da! And I was just about to show you guys like how I added a little bit of dark green to make it look like it had some depth. All right, so I'm going to go back and add some dark green to uh, some of this also. You guys are so sweet. Okay, I've got the dark green, I've got the light green. What else does it need? Um, I feel like the flowers look pretty good, but this one needs a little bit more red in it, maybe, compared to the other one. And some more white. Like, I didn't get nearly as much accenting going on in these. And then I want to add maybe a tiny bit of black as an accent and then we'll go back and do the monogram so we haven't even gotten to that part yet this is gonna this is like a several step process compared to what i normally do i need a really skinny brush where is the one i want this will have to do okay i need some black paint it always feels really counter counter intuitive to add black to a door hanger this light and beautiful but the black makes everything pop so we must we must do it so I'm just taking a really tiny liner brush and adding some black accents to make these colors really pop <clears throat> I will show you guys up close in a moment what it looks like. I'm trying to have a really light touch so that I don't like glob the paint on there because I want it to look delicate. Okay, so here's this corner. Thank you for sharing again, Misty and Donna. Hey, Monica, you found me again. <laughs> Thank you, Misty. Okay, so there's the, there's without, with the black. Here's without. Without and with. It just makes everything pop just a little bit more. No, I'm not a lefty, Kelly. It's because I'm filming in selfie mode. It makes everything look in reverse. See my shirt? The printing on my shirt is even reversed. All right. I'm going to do this flower. And 
and there's nothing fancy to this flower design other than I'm just wiggling my hand around the outside of it to kind of create this little wiggly uh, petal shape. How many of you guys like to paint and you wish that you could do this for a living? Maybe you wish that you could teach paint parties and quit your day job. Is that you? You love the black pops. Thank you, Laura. Does that describe any of you? I started this business because I wanted something that I could do and stay, still stay home with my babies. I need a thicker brush for that. <laughs> Michelle says, me, me, me. Okay, Beverly says, me. Beth says, when I retire. Beth, what do you do for a living? Are you a nurse? Did I dream that up? Stacy says, me. Jessica says, me. Tanya says, I just wish I could paint. You make it look so easy. Tanya, have you ever painted a door hanger before? If not, I would highly recommend that you give it a try because it's just paint and you can always paint over it if it doesn't turn out, you know, as well as you had hoped and you can try again. That's the beautiful thing about paint. Um, somebody said, I just want to paint all day instead of massaging. Tanya says, I wish I could paint. You make it look easy. Mindy says, I want to keep my day job and do the paint parties. There you go. What do you do for your day job, Mindy? Beth says, I'm a property management. No to nursing. I don't know why I thought you were a nurse. Teresa said, when I retire also. Tabitha said, I missed the question. The question, <laughs> the question was, uh, how many of you watching wish that you could do this for a business, like for a living, like quit your day job maybe if you want to and start teaching paint parties or selling door hangers. Mindy says my day job's too easy to give up. Well, I need to know what it is now. Uh, Doreen, I cut my own wood for the first three years of my business. And just recently in the last year, I've started high, uh, buying all of these pre-cut from a laser cutting guy because it's made my life easier because I'm doing all the things and I don't have time to cut my own anymore. Okay, Teresa, uh, Tracy says me, Susan says me. Uh, Tabitha says, oh yes, me. I work evenings in accounting. Oh, you're a do judicial assistant. Okay. Michelle says, I'm going to make it happen. I like your attitude, Michelle. <laughs> like tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Um, so my next question, Ooh, I know what we can use this blue on. You guys remember in the first part of the video, I mixed up this blue and I was disappointed I couldn't use it. Let's outline the, uh, frame with it. That will be so pretty. Oh yes, yes, yes. This is perfect. I'm geeking out over a paint color. <laughs> Eva says, my day day job is stay home, be a mom. All I want to do is have a successful paint business. Okay, so since so many of you want that, tell me now, what is stopping you? Like, what is your objection or your drawback or your reason why you haven't gotten it done yet? What is the reason why you haven't made your dream a reality yet? I will wait while you type. So pretty. The only problem is I probably should have done this before I drew my flowers because now I'm having to like not get it all over my flowers. Okay, lack of confidence, scared to fail my family. Family needs a guaranteed income. Yes, me, I've taken on one paint class and I loved it, but I don't think I can do it myself. I'm afraid I'm not talented enough or people will not support me. Um, your health. Um, okay, so if you're afraid that people won't support you, are you worried about like family members not supporting you or complete strangers? What kind of paint brushes do you use? All different kinds, Jessica. I have a bunch in my shop. 
Beth says, I'm too close to retirement. I may have to go back and read some of these later. <laughs> you guys are coming in so hot. There's something else, someone else. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Somebody said, there is someone else in town that has a similar business, but I've been painting longer than her. Well, then don't let that hold you back, Michelle. There's enough business for everybody to go around. Michelle says, this is so pretty. It keeps getting better. I know. I love this blue color. You don't really have adequate space right now for all your paint stuff. Girl, Georgia, Georgia Peach. I like that. I had all of my junk in the dining room for the longest time. And I finally now, four years into my business, have a craft room again. So don't let that hold you back because I didn't do parties at my home. I did a, a couple of parties at my home and then all of, the all of the rest of them were in the hostess's home, in a restaurant, in a church, um, like a church fellowship room or somewhere like that. Trisha says, Heidi easily lives in my town. There's plenty to go around. Exactly. Heidi is so awesome. Oh, she's not nice, so you're nervous. Well, Michelle, in that case, I suggest you put on blinders and you pretend like she's not there. You worry about you. Don't look at her stuff. Don't look at her page. If you need to, block her page from yours so that you're not seeing it and you're not worried about anything she's doing. Pretend like you don't even know she exists. Pretend like you don't know her business exists and you do you and pray about it. Just pray that, you know, God will bless you both and make you both contented and happy in your business. And um, it will make it so much better on your own heart and on your business and you will flourish from there. That's what I've had to do for people in the past that didn't agree with me because you're not, you could be the sweetest peach in the bunch and there's always going to be somebody who doesn't like peaches. Definitely lack of confidence in your work. Your younger kids don't let you do much. Um, thank you, Sandra. Brittany said, I would love to help support my family. Uh, Brittany, were you the one, somebody commented earlier that, um, what did they say? They said that they needed a steady income. Like they're afraid to quit their day job because they need a steady income and paint parties may not be steady. My answer to that is you don't have to quit your day job, day job to do paint parties. Like you can do one party a week on a Saturday afternoon or whatever day you deem um, good. And that could just be your one party a week. If you can get 15 people to show up at that one party each week, 15 different people each week, and you charge $35, that's $500 extra dollars a week that you would make from one party. If you do one party a week, that's $2,000 a month you could bring in for your family. So don't look at it like, I need to fill up my calendar. Make it a goal to do one party a week and to get that minimum number of people met for that party each week. Just start setting a goal for yourself and the more success you have, the more your confidence will grow. I love how you guys start talking to each other in the comments. It just makes my heart swell. <laughs> I just love it. Eva says, I'm scared to spend the money and fail. Spend the money on the course? Because I can teach you all the things and I can encourage you and try to be your cheerleader and your support. But if you don't have the confidence in yourself or you're not willing to jump off the cliff and actually do a party, then there's, I can teach you all the things, but it's not going to benefit you at all. So it's like, it's like standing on the edge of the platform with a bungee cord strapped to your back and you know that bungee cord is going to yank you back up, but you have to have the courage to jump over the edge and trust that bungee cord to pick you back up. So you could book your first party and it could be a complete flop. I'm not going to lie to you. There have been times when I've had parties and I had a, 17 people say they're coming and only seven of them showed up. But I've put things in place in my business now to prevent that from happening again. And I've always picked myself back up and booked another party. And sometimes those next parties are better than any other party that I've done. So you can't let one failure stop you from doing this. You can't just have one bad experience and then decide, oh, I guess I'm not cut out for this. <laughs> so I want to encourage you. Yes, Tara's jump. Tara's name's up here on the board. Tara's one of our boot campers. I'm so proud of you, Tara. And Tara, my husband remembers you from the face from the uh, event in Nashville, and I told him that you joined. And he said, "Tell her I said, way to go, girl." <laughs> he was so proud of you. 
Uh, Carla says, have you ever seen the Steve Harvey video about jumping? Yes, I've shared that to my page before. If you've never seen that, I want you to Google when this is over. Google Steve Harvey jump and watch the, the YouTube video. Oh, thank you, K Caitlin. I love supporting you guys and encouraging you. And I better stop talking for just a second so I can blow dry this and we can finish this door hanger. <laughs> Megan, I'm so proud of you. Megan is one of the ones that has been DMing me on Instagram, and we chat back and forth probably every other week. I usually give her a little bit of advice here and there, and she has just flourished, and I'm so proud of her. She said, I was scared to do my first one, but now that I've done five, it's been so rewarding in getting my name out there. I'm excited to see where God takes my business. Thank you for all the support and love, Tamara. Aw, thank you so much, Megan. Caitlin says, I need to invest in a blow dryer. Caitlin? A blow dryer is not an investment. <laughs> this course is an investment, but a blow dryer on Amazon is going to cost you less than 15 bucks. <laughs> so to just go grab you one, it's, it's worth it. <laughs> I don't even have, I don't even hardly ever use a blow dryer in real life anymore. I just use it for paint. Eva says that and just in general, but girl, I definitely needed this. Probably going to grab my husband's credit card. Well, go grab it. Just don't tell him because it's easier to get per forgiveness than it is to get permission. And if you're able to have that first party within the next 30 days, he doesn't ever have to know. You can always just pay off the credit card before he finds out. <laughs> Michelle says, where's the information for your boot camp? I think if you comment boot camp below, it will send a message to your Facebook messenger. But you guys may have to test that because once... The Facebook Live dropped me, and then we had to come back. I, I set it back up again, but I don't know if it worked. So y'all let me know if it works. All right, so let's get this monogram put on here. For those of you who are just now joining me, I printed this out on my computer, and I cut it out, and we're using tracing paper. That's how we did this shape. <clears throat> and actually, I need to be able to see where the shape is so it's lined up straight. So I'm going to kind of place it and lift it and reposition Make sure that it's straight on here. Okay. All right. I just thought of something else. Eva, if you are feeling like you're going to fail, or if you're afraid you're going to fail, there's never going to be a better time to do this. Because if you want to do this, three months from now and the boot camp course is no longer available, um, we're not going to be here to be your backup or your fallback net. But if you've taken the boot camp course, you'll be inside the Facebook community and you will have all of us to support you and to do this together and link arms and cheer each other on. And so if it is a big fat fail, you can come in and be vulnerable and tell us that and we can help you through it. We can help you to have a successful party the next go around. Somebody said, how long is the course? It's five weeks long. I don't have a link for the black paper. How exactly does the tracing paper work? I'm about to show you. Uh, Dana says, I had my sixth party because I'm so excited. I've been having parties right beside Jack Daniels Distillery in Lynchburg Square. I know y'all heard that song down on Lynchburg, Tennessee. I'm local. <sighs> Eva, I'm so happy. I hope you join us. Okay. I was making sure I had the monogram upright because I don't want to do it upside down. All right, so the tracing paper, how it works is think of this like pencil lead. All of this is graphite, which is what pencil lead's made up of. And it's like on a really thin tissue sheet. And we have the shiny side facing down because that's the side that has the lead on it. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Mindy. You're so sweet. How much is boot camp? It's $497. And it won't be offered again until 2020. Tomorrow's the deadline to sign up. Um, okay, so the, oh, crap, I just moved it. Hang on. <laughs> I had it all lined up. I thought I moved it. Maybe it was not right the first time. Okay, so the way it works is, is when I start tracing this with a pen, tracing my monogram, it is pushing the graphite on the bottom side of this tissue paper down onto the wood and it's like writing on the wood with a pencil. So it's gonna look like the monogram was drawn on with a pencil when I'm done. So then 
you can go back and you can fill it in with paint or a paint pen or something like that which I hadn't thought about it up until now, but I may do a paint pen instead of a paint brush because I don't know if I've ever used a paint pen on a Facebook Live before because I don't use them very often, but it might be a good time to do that. Boot camp, all one word, yes. Oh good, it worked, Ellen. Hallelujah. I know $497 sounds like a lot of money. And so what I say to that is you have to invest in yourself and invest in your business and you have to trust yourself <clears throat> that you know when you set your mind to something that you can do it. Uh, Beth says, will the course be saved to a boot camp page if we can't attend live? Yes, it's all housed in teachable.com which is a website that hosts online courses. And so you'll be able to go back and watch them at any time. You'll have lifetime access to the videos. So you can go back and watch them. You don't have to be live. And all of the live Q and A's will be able to go back and watch also inside the Facebook group. So what I was saying was, is you have to be able to trust yourself that, you know, when you put your mind to something that you're gonna accomplish it and you're gonna do it. The $497 is nothing compared to the value that you get from this course and the amount of money you can potentially make from putting what you are taught into action. Does that make sense? You host one party with 15 people at $35 each and your course pays for itself because you can make $500 in one party if you have 15 people paying $35 a piece. So then every single party you have after that would be complete, complete profit. And personally, I never sign up for anything unless I know that I can double, at least double my money back. Like I would never sign up for business coaching or a course or anything like that unless I know I, san I stand to potentially make double my money back. And you can make, you know, dozens of times your money back. You can, I mean, you can make so much more than you ever dreamed possible. Like I said, if you do one party a week and you make $500 at that one party each week, that's $2,000 a month. For some of you, that is a full-time income. Megan said, when should we start charging $35 a person? Because right now I'm only charging $25. Um, Megan, if you just started, you can stick with 25 for like the first couple of months, first three months, however long it feels like, however long it feels like that's worth it to you. I didn't up my prices until about a year or two later, but I waited too long, to be honest with you, because there, um, I got almost burnt out before I increased my prices and you shouldn't, you shouldn't reach the burnout phase. You should, I've got to touch up a couple spots real quick where the paint got on something. Um, you, you don't need to burn yourself out. And you need to, um, like, make sure your name is established, I guess. So, like, since you've already started charging 25 now you probably need to wait just a little bit until your name's out there good. And then you can up the prices when you feel like, okay, now I'm staying busy and I'm not having trouble booking parties and things like that. But for those of you who maybe haven't even had a party yet, you could probably start at $35 and nobody would ever know the difference. But if you're having a hard time getting parties booked or for some re weird reason you're having a hard time, you know, getting people to come to the parties, you could do 25 and you can always go up from there. Isn't that cool, Caitlin? So look, it transferred the monogram right to my door hanger. It looks like it's written in an ink pen. I had to touch up a couple places because I was resting my hand so hard on the graphite paper that it transferred some places where it shouldn't have. Victoria said, where do you go to get your wood cutouts and ideas for your classes? Excuse me, sorry, I just burped. <laughs> uh, my wood cutouts, I have a local guy laser cut all of them for me and I sell them on my website. Kathy, my nail polish is a coral color. So yeah, it almost matches the door hanger, but it's coral. <laughs> D says I started at 35. So see, D, people didn't know the difference, right? Because you started at 35, people didn't even know. 
Like they, they just expected that that was normal. So, all right, how about we use a paint pen on this? Hang on, I don't wanna open that one because that one's brand new. I got one right over here that's already open. So let me just grab it. I don't know if they dry out quickly or not. So we're just gonna use this one. Chris says, if we are supplying the building for everything, do you think 40s? No, no, I don't. If you are supplying the location, uh, yeah, your cost is definitely going to be higher. So we talk about that in the course. We have a whole video called Pricing Advice, and we help you decide what to charge. And that is definitely one of the factors. So I definitely think you could charge $40 a person because you have a studio space. Michelle says, is it difficult to teach left-handed people? I have never had a problem teaching left-handed people. My shirt says, she was born to paint, make pretty things, and inspire others to create. I have this shirt for sale on my website. Uh, Michelle says, I'm left-handed and sometimes struggle doing things that look easy to right-handed folks. Hmm. I don't know. I've never really thought about it. All right, so I'm just going to use this little paint pen, and I'm going to stay inside the lines here and just fill them in, and it's going to be so easy. It's going to blow your mind. <laughs> And, you know, you could do this at your paint parties. You could use the transfer paper and, uh, you know, just print it out like this. And people, you could have paint pens and let people color in the lettering just like this at the parties. That was what Mindy Coleman said that they did at her parties and everybody loved it. And I thought that was genius. I've never done that before. I don't pretend to know all the things. <laughs> And I don't know why it never occurred to me before to do that. But, yeah, that's so smart. When is the last day for boot camp? Tomorrow, midnight Central Standard Time. What type of paint pen is that? Um, this one is called Uniposca. U-N-I-P-O-S-C-A. What kind? Oh, everybody's asking the same question. Uniposca. I do not have this one linked anywhere. This was the first time I'm, well, like I just got these the other day. So if you like, I can find a link for you guys and I can drop it in that Amazon shop. Oh, Charlie's home from wrestling. What do you got? Come show me. Oh boy, come hey, here and show hey, the ladies. Hey, hey, um, hey, um, oh boy, yeah, come hey, here, hang on, y'all gotta see her. <laughs> this guy, this, okay, hang on, let me pick you up, oh my Look, goodness. This guy, this star guy, um, draw my shirt and then he got me a picture. So all the wrestlers signed her shirt and signed a picture for her. <laughs> oh my goodness, boot camp is all one word. Oh, that is so funny, Charlie. I'm glad I sent her in a shirt that I didn't care anything about. That little troll shirt. And I don't know why they all signed her belly instead of like her shoulder or her back. That's where she wanted it. Oh, that's where she wanted it? She told them to sign her belly. You'll have to ask her about it tomorrow at church, Nana. <laughs> My mom's watching. Hey, Tamara Gregory, how are you? <laughs> She's a mess, Brittany. Okay, let's finish this door hanger. It's taking me forever because I keep stopping and talking. I'm enjoying visiting with all of you guys. So if you're just now watching, the first part the first part of this door hanger where I painted the flowers and stuff is all in part one because Facebook cut us off. So you'll have to go back and watch that first before you watch this one. And we've been talking about the Paint Party Boot Camp course, which uh, tomorrow is the deadline to sign up for that. It won't be offered again until 2020. Um, so if you're thinking about starting a paint party business or if you've got a little bit of a painting talent and you need to make some extra money, it's definitely um, designed to help you do that. Or if you already have a paint party business and you're just like, oh, there's so many things that I struggle with, uh, you know, getting people to show up, getting people to prepay, um, ways to make your parties unique so that people will book parties with you instead of maybe somebody who lives in your town that you're feeling like you're competing with. We have, um, we're teaching ways that you can make your parties unique. We're teaching ways that uh, you can do fundraisers or uh, virtual, virtual paint parties even. 
specialty parties, kind of like a, a mother and daughter party or um, a bachelorette party, stuff like that. Yes, she is wound up. What size marker? Um, this one I think is a medium tip. It says 1.8, 2.5 millimeters. Average size of my door hangers is 20 inches. Hi, Cheryl from Alabama. I'm not left-handed, but um, I'm in selfie mode, so Facebook shows it to you guys in backwards. This is weird doing it with a paint marker. I've always ever done it with a paintbrush, but it's a little weird. It's turning out nice. It looks nice. It just feels weird to do it this way. I feel like I'm coloring with a Sharpie. I'm just going to go ahead and outline all of these. Whoops, that didn't turn out quite right. <laughs> I got outside my lines. I'm going to have to correct that. What kind of paint marker am I using? It's called Uniposca. U-N-I-P-O-S-C-A. Uniposca. It's definitely faster outlining like this than doing it with a, 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 a paintbrush. I think I just, I, I prefer the painted look though because it's almost uh, thinner and when something is painted, you can see the paint like it's raised and so I like that look. So I may go ahead and outline with this paint pen and then go over it with paint just because that's my preferred like, I prefer it to look that way. But this definitely would save time as far as making sure your lines are crisp and outlined. So I like it for that aspect. Because sometimes it is hard to get a crisp outline with a paintbrush. What are you still trying, Michelle? Oh, you're still trying to get the link. Bless your heart. Just private message me. I'll give it to you. All right, I'm just gonna paint right on top of this now because I prefer the, the look of paint. Even though the paint pen worked beautifully, it just looks slightly different than paint than my paintbrush does. So I'm kind of giving it a coat of paint on top of the paint pen, which you would not have to do this. This is just me being weirdly picky. I'm not normally a picky person. I am when it comes to food, but <laughs> as far as paint, I usually just let it go. This, I, I definitely think I would use this technique with the paint pen though, if I were doing gold or silver, because sometimes that's really hard to get on evenly with a paintbrush. I am faster painting for sure. I'm more confident with a brush in my hand. You had a ceramic shop for 17 years. Oh, when I was a little girl, we used to go to a ceramic shop and pick up little ceramics and we would bring them home and my mom would let me paint them. And I thought that was the most like fun place ever. Michelle says, I love using a paintbrush to clean up the lines. Yes, that's a good idea. What is the name of the paper? Uh, graphite paper. Yes, I think it's called graphite paper. I think I bought mine on Amazon and it came with like a bunch, uh, like a ton of sheets, way more than I would probably ever use in a lifetime unless I'm doing parties. I mean, at parties, you would probably need a lot of sheets because people would probably 
rip them or accidentally throw them away because they would think they were one-time use. So if you bought them in bulk for paint parties, that would make sense. But as far as just to use one time, you probably don't need a whole lot. I am definitely faster with a paintbrush, aren't I? I don't have the patience for the paint pen. <laughs> <clears throat> it is faster though since I outlined with the paint pen now I can just go back and whoosh like paint it in there real quick easy peasy lemon squeezy I hope they like their wedding gift I certainly had fun painting it Okay, looks pretty good. <clears throat> I feel like it needs something here and here, so I may do just a little bit of black, um, like, accents. Because it feels like it needs something to kind of finish it up. If I'm missing any of y'all's comments, I promise when the live is over, I always go back and read them. So, I will do that in a bit. Okay. What do y'all think? Da -da. It's quite pretty, isn't it? How did I put the monogram on? I printed it out on my computer, like so. And then I used graphite transfer paper underneath. And we traced it with a ballpoint pen. And then that put the design on the wood. And then all I used was a paint pen to trace it, and I painted the middle with brush with a brush. This is quarter inch MDF, so it looks like that, and it's really smooth and beautiful to paint on. If you guys want a mason jar door hanger blank, <clears throat> I'll put the link in here because I know I did it in the previous video when Facebook cut us off. So let me see if.